Today I'm talking about a man who had five well-known ministers pray for him, and he said not a one of them could get me healed. So stay tuned because at the end of today's broadcast, we have a free digital download offer for you. Today I'm talking about a man that had an attitude. I mean, when he t he told me, he said, I had five well-known ministers. He named every single one of them. And if I named them, you'd probably possibly know all of them or have heard of all of them. And he said, not a one of them could get me healed. Now, that was an attitude. I mean, his self was being exalted. In fact, I'll just say this. If I had been there and watched those ministers pray for him, I probably would have seen what he didn't see because you see, he, he himself was so exalted through this attitude that was on the inside because his statement he made about they couldn't get me healed, boy, that right there tells me volumes about the heart of the person because he doesn't even understand receiving from God because receiving from God is about Jesus Christ. Receiving from God is not about another person getting you healed. If you're focused on what this person is going to do for you, then you might as well go to a doctor, so to speak, because doctors help people. That's their heart. That's how they're trained, like one human helping another human. But that's not how you receive from God. Receiving from your Heavenly Father is about Jesus Christ. It's about the cross. It's about His body, other words, and, and of course, His blood speaks of our righteousness. But you see, His body, all of our physical problems were put upon Jesus. And this man was focused on the person, that the person couldn't do this. This man had an attitude. And I told him this and when he finally stopped talking. I said, now, I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to get you healed. But i got to tell you something. I spent 45 minutes ministering to this man to deal with that attitude because his heart was exalted through unbelief with that attitude and he was limiting Jesus in his life. And you see those ministers in an altar call as an example, they didn't have that kind of time to take 45 minutes with a person to help them to receive the manifestation because of that, because of an attitude and what was going on in the inside of them. And this is a man that he had uh, hit a back problem that was impossible. Even the doctors couldn't help him. They did all they could. He was just having to live with that pain. This is a man that had on the inside of his internal organs, one of the organs that just was vibrating and just moving. It was just driving him up the wall. And you know, at that time, this was years ago, I didn't even know there was such a kind of a physical problem as one of your organs can move. It's like, I just thought that was strange at the time, but it was bothering him. But you see, he had to come to the place where there was a humble and humility of heart. You see, Matthew 5, 5 talks about, blessed are the meek for they shall inherit the earth. You see, a meekness is not an outward meekness towards humans in the context of you walking around, look like you've been bit, bit, uh, beat with a wet noodle or something like that to where you just look like humble pie. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about a meekness that's towards God, not towards sin in the context of the world, but we're towards God where the person that is meek is a person that's in relationship with God because they're humble towards him. Their heart's not exalted towards Jesus towards his body and towards his blood, but that is at a place of prominence within their heart. But this man had himself exalted. I had to help deal with that attitude and he had to respond correctly before I could release the life of Christ into his body because he was making, uh, receiving about another person doing something for him, not about Jesus Christ. You know, the time came that, man, this back was healed to the point that he couldn't make it hurt. He could do things physically he couldn't do before. And that organ that was vibrating got down to the point which is barely moving and the last of it I left for him because I had spent so much time with him and I said look you need to know that when you speak with authority and release power what can happen this is it's going to benefit your heart to just for you for your future you know when um, when it says the meat shall inherit earth, it says in Psalms chapter 37 and verse 11, they should delight themselves in the abundance of 
peace. You've got to value peace over you just getting your own selfish ways in the context of what you think's right. There has to be a humble and a humility of heart towards the Lord for you to allow the Holy Spirit to be your teacher and allow the Holy Spirit to help you. Many times we want God to do something, but our heart's at a place of not receiving because our heart is exalted through unbelief because we've made everything about us. Look, it's beneficial for you to take time before the Lord and humble your heart before him and come into a place where you value his voice over your voice. That is so beneficial. You know, a sad thing in this situation is the fact that like over a week or so later, this man, he got back in touch. And what I heard with the ministry, what I heard was this. He said, God didn't do a thing. Let me tell you something. I spent like an hour or more with that guy and quality time to help him. He physically changed, but he allowed that attitude because that was a way of life. Let me tell you, you can lose what God gives you because you'll give it away through unbelief because yourself is exalted and with an attitude and you just make wrong choices, wrong decisions and sabotage your future. Praise God, but God's good. If you'll turn your heart back to him, he'll just give it to you again because God is love. He's not relating to you like the way you relate to him. God is love. Praise God. Well, stay tuned because today we have a free digital download offer for you. For those that are being blessed by the content of this message, I encourage you to hit the subscribe button.